Well, I guess my granddaughter left a cup of tea at her papa's workstation. Hello, everybody. I just wanted to respond to a comment that I received in the video that I made uh, critiquing the advertisement that Donald Trump is promoting, God Made Trump. And one of the comments that were under the video was, I, I will report this channel for spewing hate and I'll continue until it's banned and removed. Uh, and, and, that, and there's probably more comments like that. I'm trying to look at comments, but I can't, uh, don't have the time to see everyone. I have a full-time nursing job and a part-time job as a pastor as a, of a small country church. And I have a family, so I, I don't, uh, have all the time in the world uh, to, to do that. So uh, I do want to respond to this comment because it's not just an isolated comment. I've seen in many uh, videos, MAGA influencers encourage this kind of thinking to engage in this kind of thinking and rhetoric. And I've seen thousands of comments like this on uh, other videos and posts that other people have made that have been critical and expressing concerns about Donald Trump. And uh, in which MAGA people see this as basically threatening uh, their uh, leader. I, you know, I don't have any maliciousness or ill will to this person. I don't want to, I've got a screenshot of the comment uh, that I've saved, but I don't want to further amplify that person because the point isn't the specific person, but to deal with this kind of comment uh, that you often hear from MAGA people. Uh, and, and I just want to uh, use it for kind of an illustration, I guess, of uh, some of the things that is concerning. And we, we see the outworking of what happens as Donald Trump and MAGA influencers start to influence their following in a certain uh, direction. Uh, I want to say that that God tra made Trump the name of the advertisement in the title. And when I said blasphemy, uh, I was speaking from a Christian perspective evaluating uh, that video in light of the third commandment and other uh, Bible teaching. So I was making a biblical critique of an advertisement that Donald Trump has been promoting that lifts him up into some kind of divinely improved messianic figure and in which he takes on many of the things the Bible say as uh, uh, for Jesus Christ, he takes those things or, or the people made the video give those things to Donald Trump and he he approves of this and is promoting this and and to me it was very concerning and I wanted to warn uh, Christians about uh, this kind of thing that that there is something very dangerous going on especially as we see Donald Trump going to places like the National Association of Religious Broadcasters convention and talk about being a Christian and saying, hey, I'm one of you, I'm a Christian, I'm part of the church. And uh, all these things are, are just very, very concerning uh, to me. So I, I wanted to um, bring these things out. I, I'm a nobody, small country pastor. This is a channel with hundreds of subscribers and, and thousands of views. And it's interesting to me is there are a lot more strident, aggressive, name-calling, anti-Trump, YouTube channels with multi-millions of subscribers and billions of views. Uh, and so I, I see MAGA people being triggered by this nobody uh, when, when uh, they've got all, you know, they've got a lot bigger fish to fry, uh, should, should I, I should put it that way. Uh, but that's what is what it is. But what I find interesting, and especially if you're in the MAGA movement and you're listening to this, uh, I really want you to consider some things and to think about some things. You know, MAGA mocks progressive liberals who get triggered into outrage by alternative viewpoints. They call them snowflakes. And MAGA holds in disdain the cancel culture, they say, 
progressive liberals promote in their snowflake outrage. But in my experience and seeing, and, and I think the experience of many other Christians who, who are on social media like YouTube and other places, they, they see uh, that MAGA are just as big of snowflakes as the progressive liberal, liberals they complain about. Um, they, they don't want to, uh, they, they want to have their own cancel culture. And MAGA uh, wants to have uh, their own outrage at out alternative uh, viewpoints that they disagree with. And they want to silence anyone who would dare speak against their leader, Donald Trump, or dare challenge uh, their uh, fully accepted notions of who he is and and uh, feel justified fully in supporting him and not allowing any contrary evidence into their worldview or any concerns to be expressed by anybody else. But the idea of silencing people that want to express religious viewpoints and, and, and evaluate uh, Donald Trump based on a religious or political or any other viewpoint uh, in the United States, we, we have a uh, freedom of speech. That's one of the things that's baked into our society to prevent totalitarian communist thinking. And it, it is very uh, communist and totalitarian kind of thing to want to suppress the religious speech of someone else just because you don't like uh, what they're saying. That's what they do in North Korea and China. Um, and why, I guess I would ask this, why would any anybody who, who uh, is MAGA, why would they want to do anything that they say that communists and Marxists do? Why would they want to engage in any kind of behavior that they claim that the Democrats are doing to destroy democracy? And why waste energy on a small, tiny channel with hardly any viewers when there are much bigger fish to fry? And this is my question for the MAGA movement. Why waste your time and energy trying to silence and suppress speech that makes you feel uncomfortable? Aren't you becoming what you claim the other side is? I haven't had any progressive liberals threaten to get this channel banned because I am pro-life and pro-traditional marriage and embrace many conservative views that comes out in my videos. Uh, and in fact, just watch the video that I've done about God establishing marriage as a foundation of society. Uh, I do not apologize for what the Bible teaches, yet I don't have any progressive liberals coming and saying, I want to ban your channel because you're saying stuff I don't like. But I've had MAGA comments to that end. Uh, people saying that they're going to pray against me and you know, all those and, and they can say that. And I'm not going to take those comments down because they illustrate uh, uh, people's characters. Out, out of the mouths of people, you begin to know their hearts. And, and so we want people to see and be able to evaluate people. But I want to say this. When, when MAGA movement attacks and threatens and bullies and otherwise tries to persecute and oppress opposing viewpoints, they prove themselves to be no different than the people they say are destroying America. Does that mean that MAGA intends to destroy American democracy too? That's my question. And make, makes many Christians like me worry that MAGA is going to persecute and try to destroy Christians like us who refuse to be subservient to Donald Trump and MAGA. We will not bow the knee to any idol we will remain faithful to Jesus Christ, no matter what the cost. But we ask ourselves, are you gonna be part of the persecution and destruction of opposing Christian voices out of your subservience to Donald Trump and MAGA? I've seen this already over the years and pastors I've talked to and known throughout the country and other places uh, as we communicate and we talk, we, we have members, there are church members that have left longtime churches where they've been for many years, nurturing and caring for them and their families, 
simply because the leadership refused to endorse Donald Trump and to, re and to promote MAGA in the congregation. And so people are willing to break those church family bonds and leave in anger and, and rage and sometimes causing church splits over the issue, issue of loyalty to Donald Trump and MAGA. And it's happening across the country. And how Christian is that? And isn't that a warning sign that people are willing to throw so many things away over the issue of personal 100% loyalty to Donald Trump? And if anybody doesn't see things their way, even if they use the Bible to explain why they don't, then they are evil and, and they are turned away and families are, are making chaos for their children, leaving a church where they're happy and thriving and pulling them out into, into a church full of anger and bitterness and rage, uh, promoting uh, um, the MAGA movement. And, and, and it's become very, very unhealthy spiritually in my observation for children. Um, and uh, some of these children are, are really getting torn apart. I've seen pastors and I know a personally of pastors who have been fired for being woke or CRT because MAGA has, has defined these terms in certain ways so that simply reading a Bible passage can get a pastor fired for simply saying what a Bible passage clearly says will get a pastor fired because it does not line up with what MAGA says. And I've seen churches firing pastors and known of them and known of pastors who have been fired from churches simply from reading the Bible and talking about biblical teaching that does not line up with what MAGA promotes. I've also seen missionaries laboring in the United States uh, doing work on campuses and, and, and college campuses and in communities trying to establish new churches, losing financial support because they have expressed disapproval of the character and conduct of Donald Trump. And this is especially true of, of of uh, men going in to plant churches and be missionaries on in areas where there is a heavy minority presence and where they acknowledge uh, the character of Donald Trump and where they uh, feel that outwardly supporting him is a bad witness in those communities for Christian missions. And churches say, you can go into those minority communities, but if you're not all Trump all the time, we are going to pull our financial support for, from you. And I knew of one missionary who had his financial support simp uh, um pulled from him a number of years ago simply for expressing that January 6th was a disgrace uh, and, and posting that on social media that, that it should not have happened, it was wrong, and, and Christians should not have participated in it. And, and for, for him just to say that, he got his missionary funding pulled. Um, and at many times, uh, MAGA movement has moved beyond the intimidation and bullying and persecution to actual threats of violence to person and property. In some cases, they have either attempted or successfully done that. That's why all these juries have to be sequestered. That's why uh, there's great concern about the safety of people in the court system because of MAGA threats. Um, and, and this is the 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 thing that I would say finally to uh, evangelical leaders, and, and I'm working my way through the National Religious Broadcasters Convention, watching video of that and Donald Trump's speech. And, and one of the things that is really noteworthy to me is these are the leading influencers in the evangelical community through uh, bro radio broadcasts and television. Uh, that's a group, this is that group coming uh, together. And I would ask you, if you are a member of the National Association of Religious Broadcasting, if you are one of those evangelical leaders of these big churches, an author, a speaker, big church pastor, leader of big church ministry, I, I have a question for you. 
Are you going to stand up for genuine, faithful, Bible-believing Christians who can't in good conscience support Donald Trump and MAGA? Or do you want the power, influence, and wealth that comes from supporting him so much and you know that your power and influence will increase if you support him and MAGA and he wins the presidency, that you are willing to silence biblical Christian voices along with MAGA. Maybe silencing Christian voices doesn't matter to the National Association of Religious Broadcasters, who, by the way, was started as an organization because they because many years ago, 60, 70, 80 years ago, I can't remember how long ago it was, they started because a Christian biblical Christian voices were being silenced over the over the airways. They they were pushing back against that. So now, are they going to on the altar of Donald Trump in subservience to him? Are they going to start silencing Christian voices that express concern that are using the Bible and deep conviction? to say, no, we cannot go with Donald Trump and MAGA. We see a lot of danger in this movement. We see that it is leading people to be unfaithful to Jesus Christ. And no, he is not going to do all these wonderful things for Christians as he claims. That these are just empty promises of a man who who, uh, has no desire to promote Christianity other than it would help him get elected and get him the power that he wants. In fact, I'm going to share a future a video on that. But one of the things that I've noticed and, and uh, that Donald Trump has a tell when he is speaking and he despises someone, he'll cock his head and lift his shoulder. He shows when he speaks about Obama, the and, and you can see in his body language the contempt when he tries to say evangelical or speaks of evangelicalism, his body language gives away the same contempt. And I find it very telling. And, and I'm going to do a video and uh, I'm working through, I want to be honest and really work through all of that speech and all of the other videos that were part of that convention to really try to give some feedback on it. Uh, from the perspective of, of a country preacher that has no power and no influence um, and, and uh, leave that out there for people to evaluate for themselves. But I am very concerned that Donald Trump ultimately despises evangelicals and for the sake of power influence, they are going to align themselves with uh, somebody who despises the Christian faith yet claims to be Christian, despises the evangelical movement yet claims to be for us. I, it is just really hard and pulling these things in, in, out. And, and anyway, I, I'm going to leave this video um, at a stop here, but I would just encourage you all to to think and, and, and really uh, consider uh, what it might mean if MAGA really was in charge for Bible-believing Christians. Thank you.